Hey folks, Daily Alliance Blog here for January the 2nd, 2018. It takes a while to say that. This is the time of year when it's really hard. Like you're writing check out, you write 2017 and then you gotta cross what it you, out. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? You covering up the polo set? Yeah, I know, I hate this shirt. It's the only one that I have with a collar in the restaurant we're going to. I think you need a collar, but I hate this shirt. I'll just give you a fast, fast glimpse of it. It's just, it's, it's so gaudy, it's so ostentatious. Oh I hate it. Yourself new shirts. Well, I got new shirts last year. I wanted to say that um, maybe in all of the things that I've done and all of these moments that I've talked about on the Daily Lance blog, there's nothing that has really touched me in a certain way like this did. And it's bizarre that it did, but I, I just, I wanted to read it to you. And uh, Jen Carter, uh, publicly, so it's not like I'm invading her privacy, wrote, I'd like to one day talk to Landsberg in 2018. That's my resolution. That and to book a real vacation for 2019, Tasmania maybe. And I thought, wow, that is it's just such a, a lovely thought that someone wants to speak to me because of this, I can assume. But it was the response that honestly filled my eyes with tears. It was from Susan Gould, who wrote, Hope you do was the high point of my 2017. He's just so darned real and genuinely gracious and kind. And oh my God, like I, I, was, I was reading that and I thought, wow, that is, that's everything that I would hope that someone would think of me. And somehow um, through this, I was able to convey it to at least two people. And that means so much to me because the, the one thing that I have to play, the one card I have to play, the one strength that I have is my authenticity. The fact that I'm not talking about someone else, I'm talking about me, I'm talking about my experiences. And the fact that someone recognizes that is really the most important thing to me. And you know what, the last couple of days have not been good for me. I really struggled. Yesterday uh, being, um, what day was yesterday, Case? I'm, I'm, Cause we do this a day, yeah, well, the, yeah. yeah, the 31st and the New Year's Eve thing. It had nothing to do with the fact that it was New Year's Eve, but it, it just was kind of the luck of the draw. And, uh, and I struggled and I thought to myself, wow, I need to convey this. And what it really feels like to me is this, this, this chase. I'm looking for something that's better. So I'm in a certain room and I say, I'm gonna to go to another room. And then I go to another room and I say, okay, well, I gotta find a new one. And then it's like I'm continually looking for something better and nothing is better. And ultimately the only place that brings me any, any feeling of satisfaction is to be in bed and to be reading or watching television. Talking is painful for me at these times. And it's that kind of, I hope you see it as honesty that I think is allowing us to get through bad times because it's just really nice to know that someone understands you. And that's why when I say I get as much as I give with these things, uh, it applies right there. Case, okay, so you're doing this. What is that? You're I'm crazy? Up? No, no, you're, you're just talking a lot. Sicknotweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. We're here because you Someone. Like, you like to read out the praise? Did, did, did that seem like I was no, just I'm reading just it? I just want to make sure because yeah. I wasn't doing it for that. We're here because um, we need to be.